Commercialisation Australia is quite unusual. Um, and I'll as I flick through this because I'll go through it very quickly. Just remember one thing all the time. It, it's not a VC, it's not a venture capitalist, right? But it acts the same way, okay? So I'm not a government person, as you've probably gathered, right? Um, we have analysts, which are called case managers in the early part when they look at a transaction. And if a transaction is then put to the board, the investment board, and it passes, right, you then move into a period, if you like, of mentoring, right, and case management. So it is a little bit like or resembles angel style investment, right? Not so much institutional investment. Anyway, let's move through this quickly. Um, we have a, a, about four different points which uh, you can come into the program from uh, small loans, uh, uh, grants right up to large ones. Um, and everything is kind of matched to what your needs are. Right? We also have a group of voluntary mentors which is growing slowly. Uh, these are largely um, uh, gentlemen and ladies that are not going to charge you any money, so they are voluntary. And as such, they'll have specialist backgrounds, right? Um, the lack, if you like, of skilled hands-on uh, wealth creators in some industry sectors is a problem. In the IT industry, fortunately, it's not, because probably one in three angels in Australia come from IT backgrounds. So where does it fit? Well, it fits somewhere between basic R&D, right? I mean, at the lab bench, if you like, in the true sense of the word, right? And somebody that's already started production and like a lot of small businesses, is just looking for more sales and more money. Right? So it sits very much firmly in the middle. Right? And that means that as it's commercialisation, we're, if you like, testing the, not the technical risk, but the commercial risk. Right? And you need to keep that in your brain all the time because we don't look at technical risk. You must be past your technical risk. OK, these are the four entry points. Um, the skills and knowledge is, is basically a, a small thing that replaces uh, the Comet grant that was around in the previous government for about 10 years. Um, quite a successful program that basically did diligence, just looked at uh, skills and knowledge from the point of fact of things like getting some IP advice, doing some basic market research, right, to validate that there might be a market opportunity there or some key players, um, and raising capital. That's really what the old Comet program is around. This is not so much about raising capital, it's very much looking, and especially for startups, for what's missing from the team, right, and what skill sets we need to move on. Uh, it's quite generous. Um, you can be mentored up to two years, but the initiative's got to be delivered in 12, right? That's the um, IP advice and maybe market research. And um, you only have to find 20 cents. So uh, to that extent, the 50,000 can be turned into $62,000 worth of project. The experienced executive, which is one I'm a bit passionate about, this one I pushed very hard on the steering committee for, as I sat on the other side of the table, uh, staring at the bureaucrats who had no idea what I was talking about. Um, what I basically said, the greatest weaknesses for early stage is trying to find somebody who's very skilled, right, at that right time to take you where you need to go. It could be a project manager, marketing manager, CFO, could be a technical uh, officer, could be a CEO. Right, there's somebody to kick you along. This is for two years. It pays at 50 cents in the dollar. In other words, it's a grant. Right, it could be matched dollar for dollar. Right, and a hundred thousand dollars a year. It can be up to two executives at any one time. It depends on you and your case manager how you sort that out. Right, very convenient. This is now becoming extremely popular. Right, very hard to find the right executives, unfortunately. The proof of concept is basically that. It's not R and D not proving the technical risk, but proving the commercial viability, right? So, for argument's sake, if you're in the IT business, you know, you go out to do a beta, you've done all your alpha work, right? You're now just going to spread it out, you've got your target market selected, right? And you're going out to prove your commercial viability, right? But hold maybe a good beta test with uh, somebody wants to see how they can improve the performances of 20 guys out there in the field and they monitoring their heart rates and doing all those things, and there's lots of that sort of technology, but you're going out to prove that financially the charge for that, right, is viable, and is it sustainable, right? Um, quite often these two are moved together. Not unusual to have an executive and a proof of concept running at the one time. All these first three are grants, 
in the true sense of the word. We all know what the division of a grant is. It's called free money. Okay, good. Well, we'll move on. Um, the last one is not free money, okay, but it is interest free. Okay, so it is a loan in the true sense of the word. It's a loan that's got to be repaid, right, but under some unusual circumstances. It runs for two years, as you can see, it's a considerable amount of money. 250,000 up to 2 million, so that's projects up to $4 million, half million to 4 million. You could be in business in Australia, right, but your target is, say, global, and you want to move off into Europe or North America or South America or Asia or whatever the hell it may be, right, and you really need to punch this business along, right, now the, the window of opportunity is staring at you, right. Um, eligibility wise, not that dissimilar to proof of concept, right and not that dissimilar to the first two. You can bundle a whole lot together, right? You might require executives, right? You might require, you know, prototypes when you're doing a electrical work or hardware to move it harder, right, and faster, and you've really hell-bent on having a, if I like to say, gorilla in the room, right, in your North American or European target, whatever it may be. That loan, as such, does have to be repaid, okay? It's interest free for the period, right, and 12 months after the period's finished. Uh, you start to repay once you turn the first $100,000 in sale, right, 5% starts to come back. So it could take some time, hopefully not, right, for you to be able to repay that loan. So they're the four entry points, and that's the critical part of commercialisation Australia that never really been, not in my experience since I've been back in this country, anything quite like this. Right, so it really does, if you like, address the valley of death. Um, hmm. Most of the criteria, if you go on the website, you'll see it downloaded. It's very similar to what you go through in, in this uh, contest. Right, um, it's fairly slow. Uh, time cycles are not fast. Um, 60 to 120 days is about the normal <coughs> from way to go. Market opportunity, you know, understanding your definition, all these sort of things of course we've talked about, we're going to talk a little bit more about in the Angels slides and had a pitch, right, but it's the value proposition and the way you're going to execute your plan that is the key element, right, to commercialisation Australia. That's really what it's all about. It's no different if you rocked up to an investment panel and said, this is what I'm going to do for the, the customer I've identified, right, and this is the way I'm going to deliver it, right. So, it's, it's tough. Um, I would say, I think the last round we had 18 up to the board, 17 got through. If I go back four rounds, uh, we had 27 up to the board, only four got through. So it just depends on how good the transaction is. It's not weighted the way we deliver the money, right? It just depends on the transaction. Management capability is a big issue uh, in commercialisation Australia. Um, Another thing I had a lot to do with on the steering committee, right, there's an old term in Silicon Valley in California that says great teams kill great technology every day, right? It's knowing what you're good at and what you're not good at that fundamentally you need to portray when you attract or come to commercialisation Australia. Uh, 